It's nice of you to do the rounds in Allerene. Make sure you get some rest. From tomorrow on, your life is going to be a whirlwind. I'll try, really. But the same goes for you, and I'm not just talking about sleep. Mental rest is every bit as important as physical. The West Zumeria Trade Conference was only two years ago, after all. You don't just bounce back from a terrorist attack like that, especially as a student. I don't blame you if you're on edge. It's that obvious, huh? I tried to help however I could, but it was still so green back then. I've been thinking of all the ways we could have handled the attack better. Everything from evacuation routes to medical care. But you're right, I can't overthink it. There's no planning for an attack like that, and my mind really does need rest. Thank you for caring, Reen. No need to thank me, that's what friends are for. Working late tonight, huh? Are you preparing for tomorrow? Yes, I'm setting the computers up for our field exercises. By the way, I heard news of a VIP inspection team visiting Crossbell. Any guesses as to who might be on it, Instructor Reen? Well, there's a few people who come to mind, but I have no evidence, so who's to say? I see. I thought you might have known. How unfortunate. That said, have you heard the latest rumor? That they won't be coming by train? Really? Wait, where are you getting all this information? Who's to say? Rumors are rumors, after all, Instructor Reen. I can't take you seriously like this. Trains aside, driving just about anything really brings out the giddy child inside me. I never thought I'd learn how to operate a train before learning how to drive a car. Each of these measurements have a purpose. Looks like he's teaching how to drive the train. I shouldn't bother him right now. So that's the pressure gauge, and that's the speedometer next to it? Aye, I know that already. Then again, there's some new devices as well. Gotta pay attention. Publisher seems busy. Pablo offered to teach me how to operate the train, but I don't know how to explain it, but it reminds me of my first time on the dolly in the mines. I'm burning with passion. That's a pretty good. Excuse me. Gotta take a shower. Oh, this is nice. Is Yuna in the hangar? Yes, I think she wanted to check on the Panzer Soldat equipment. We should probably just let her be for now. Yes, I agree. They know Yuna from her club, right? I'm glad she has such good friends. There's nothing we can do for her just yet, but once we finish our tea, let's go to sleep early. Maybe there will be something we can do tomorrow. Good idea. Uh, oh, I could already challenge her before. Uh, not yet. Having Freddy in the kitchen is really helpful. Honestly, I don't know about his choice of ingredients, but I shouldn't worry about the finer details. I don't think it's a fine detail. Let me know if you ever need some appetizers, Instructor Reen. I got my hands on some choice bee larvae before we left. So juicy, so yummy. Take my word for it. I think I'll pass. That you, Schwarzer? You on night patrol again? By the way, I hear the Entertainment District is one of Crossbell's big attractions. You guys gonna be heading over there for some special ops? Of course not. Yeah, good point. Guess you can't bring the kids along with you for something like that. You change your mind, let me know. I've got a good eye for those kinds of places. I'll pick the best one out just for you. Like I said, I'm not going to any places like that. An escort and after hours? That sounds like heaven on earth. Sheesh, Ash, how do you have so much experience at your age? Ugh, I'm so jealous. What did Ash tell him? So by the time we wake up tomorrow, we'll be in Crossbell, huh? 
I know we're not going to be there to have fun, but I've never been, so I'm kind of excited to see it. I agree. Though, I wish we were going under different circumstances. Yeah, it's not like we'll be able to leave camp and see the sights or anything. I mean, it would have been nice if they were still independent. Oh, sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that. Valerie. Maybe I'm not the best person to judge, but the Empire is a pretty messed up place. I shouldn't have said that. I was out of line. My apologies. Yeah, who cares? Kurt? Kurt? Tina? You want a hard-to-read book? That's right, the harder the better. If there are any you could lend me, I'd appreciate it. Okay, then. How about this one? It's called The Uneven Distribution of the Universe. It's my favorite philosophical piece, and it's packed with a lot of unique ideas. I hope it's what you're looking for. Hmm, sounds like it'll do the job. I've been having trouble sleeping lately, so I'm hoping this'll help. That's what she wanted it for? The Uneven Distribution of the Universe. Looks like a tough read. Maybe I'll be, 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 maybe I'll be able to sleep well tonight. I guess there's more than one way to read in the world. I was just thinking about Crossbell State. Uh, I guess it's the Crossbell Province now. I know there are many factors that go into it, but to think that the same thing could have happened to the Kingdom of Liberal. Yeah, what Erebony is doing is nothing short of invasion. Especially to the people of North Ambria and Crossbell. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't have brought it up, Instructor Reen. It's just Crossbell is my best friend's hometown. I understand. So, about the Link phenomenon you experienced during the Divine Night battle the other day. Oh yeah? Something similar happened during the Civil War, too. Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, I'm currently looking into how the Arcus II helped to facilitate that. I plan to reach out to the Epstein Foundation and RF Group, since they both took part in developing it. I see, that sounds great. If we find out what happened, it might help in the future. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Will do. Crossbell. It's been a year and a half since we were there last. Yeah, time flies, huh? Back then, you didn't talk nearly as well as you do now. True. And you've softened up considerably since that time. Yeah, I guess I was going through a lot back then. But anyway, do you sense anything here? Not at the moment. Many fates intertwine in this land. To be perfectly honest, anything could happen here. Alright, I'll be ready for anything then. Ah, so cool! If only I could pilot a Panzer Soldat too! This one may be inactive right now, but Panzer Soldats are always an overwhelming presence. I'm really thankful for being allowed to interact with one, even though I'm just a student. This Hector Mark II is powerful, but it's harder to control. <laughs> Alright, ready to go. Yuna, you're here. You seem to be in high spirits. Of course I am. I never thought I'd be coming back home so soon. Oh, and we can go around the city this time too, right? Yes, just like last time, we'll have special operations missions. I'll give you the details at the briefing tomorrow. Ah, uh, understood. I'm so excited. I hope the kids are doing well. Kids? Oh right, you have younger siblings. Where does your family live? Huh? You want to come to my house? Well, as your instructor, I figured I should meet your family, but more importantly, I thought you'd like to see them. You can go off on your own for a little while, so just let me know and I'll accommodate you. Uh, why is this guy so... Anyway, let's talk about this after we know what we're doing for our special operations missions, and allow me to be the guide for our activities. Of course. Thanks, Yuna. I got this. Crossbell's my home turf, after all. I know the ins and outs of it like the back of my hand. These special ops missions will be a cinch. Everybody made it seem like she was mad upset. She seems pretty psyched. It's been one year and two months since the two of us were last in Crossbell. It was during the mission that took us to the underground sector. Yeah, you're right. As far as I could tell from reading the Imperial Chronicle, there weren't any problems as a result of that. The Intelligence Division considers the region to be especially stable for an annexed territory. Apparently, the Governor's general leadership is highly regarded there. Rufus Alberea. Juicebox's brother. Eldest son of the Alberea family, overseer of the Cruzen province and one of the four great houses. Before I joined the intelligence division, he was the one who issued my orders. 
I remember, yeah. And as the leader of the Ironbloods, he took down the Noble Alliance from within. I wonder what Eusis thinks of his brother, knowing what we do now. Oh, Altina, something wrong? I've been wondering. Is something wrong with Yuna? Hmm? I'm not sure how to explain it exactly, but something about her has seemed off ever since our field study location was announced. Actually, never mind. You don't need to worry about that right now, but if you go and talk to her, I'm sure it would help. In situations like this, support from friends can make a world of difference. I'm not sure I completely understand, but I'll keep that in mind. Uh, something bothering you, Kurt? Instructor, to be honest, everything about this trip is bothering me. We've been fighting with Calvert for hundreds of years over ownership of Crossbell. It's finally a part of the Empire now, but tensions are still high there, right? Yes, that's correct. But it might be more accurate to say that tensions are high because it's part of the Empire now. I see, I suppose that makes sense. I'm also concerned about why exactly His Highness came to tell us about the field exercises in the first place. You've known him for a while, haven't you, Kurt? Yes, as I'm sure you know, we Vanders were stationed as the guardians of the Imperial family. I've talked with him many times since we were children. I was certain that one day I'd have the honor of being appointed as his guardian. Your older brother, Mueller Vander, looked after Prince Oliver, right? Right, even as a child, I envied their relationship. Unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with my brother's physique, so I think there's a good chance his highness could end up growing even bigger than me. I wouldn't be worried if I were you. You're just fine, considering you're still growing. I only know a little bit about the Vander style, but it's clear to me you've got the perfect frame for dual swords. You understand that, right? Yes, I'm sorry. I shouldn't complain about something that can't be changed. It's just that I can't believe how much His Highness has grown. No, I just need to train more. Don't worry. I'll be focused on our exercises tomorrow. Now that I think of it, this must have been... There must be much more pressure for Yuna than it is for me, given that this is her home. You're right. Good. He realized on his own. Well then, I'll be relying on you tomorrow, Kurt. Understood. Thank you. <gasps> Compared to Yuna's feelings, mine must be pretty trivial grievances. Uh, I really need to get my mind off things, so to that end, would you like to play a round of Vantage Masters against me, Instructor? Well, it's not that I mind, but I didn't take you for a fan of games like these, Kurt. Well, to be honest, Sydney sort of half-forced it on me, but I've actually grown to enjoy it. The strategies involved are quite different from those used in chess. I see, I see. Okay, then, let's play a round! Fucking get it, Kurt. We're gonna use deck two. Ooh! Thank you for what this the match. fuck? Thirty health. How can it have ten more health and a skill and more damage? That's illegal. Wow, that seems ridiculous. I don't know that I can beat Kurt.
I guess I might have to use a ranger deck if I want to win this. this thing skill deals one damage to a row of enemies fuck man goes. I do not have faith. Oh my god! What the fuck? This thing seems broken as shit, dude. He got 31 health. He, okay, he just will become too strong for me to kill soon. He's just going to keep using... Oh my god. How the fuck...
Okay, we're totally fucked now. My God! Wait, he didn't attack? Why well, didn't just end the fucking battle, man? I can't do anything, anyways. I mean, you can kill me in one shot now. Oh, dear lord. Oh, I, you know what? I could have sealed him and then attacked him. That was my B. I fucked up. I didn't think about that. Let's keep going. Well, now I know what cards he has, so I guess we can... Do better next time. Yeah, that was smart on his part. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I can clutch this out somehow. Oh, never mind. Okay, so... We could... Three? Four, five. I can't move my fighter. What? Oh, we just don't get cards anymore. Why did I do that?
Let's see if he doesn't attack like he was before. Oh no. What the fuck is going on? lost what the fuck whatever we got the we got the night why wasn't he attacking with the night he had so much attack Damn, Kurt botched it. I wanted him to kill me so I could start over with the archer, but he did not do that. I wish that you could edit your deck from here. Like, I thought... So this doesn't make sense to me. There, I... I would have thought that with the Masters, there would have to be some drawback. How do I edit my deck? Oh, overview in the card menu, okay. So, I don't get this. I would have thought that there would have to be some drawback to... a Master card, but there's there's literally no drawback. Like, he has one more attack and ten more health... than the fighter... and has a skill? I mean, counterattacks deal plus one damage, but, like, that's not worth it in this scenario. For the 10 more health, like, this card is just objectively better in every way. Why the why the fuck does this card cost so much?
Okay, let's... Vantage Masters. Mm. Okay, so there's three more Masters. So one of those has to be the Witch. So there's not much th there's not that much more strategery to be had. Um so we've seen one of those cards at least is the uh that 4/4 four, four guy. Hey Reen, want to grab some coffee? Honestly, I prefer a nightcap, but can't exactly be breaking out the booze with all the students around. Thanks for the offer, but late night coffee in an early morning is probably a bad combo. Maybe we can go get another drink together sometime, though. Good point about the coffee. I'd love to go drinking again, though. Man, there are a ton of places here I want to take you to. There's this one casino bar I've been to before, not to mention all the others filled to the brim with an eyeful of, shall we say, classy ladies. Sounds good to me. Maybe we'll have some time on the last day we're here. I don't know about those classy ladies filled bars, though. Come on, you've got a m you're not a man till you've had a good time at a place like that. Well, guess my partner was still a kid in the same sense, though. You did seem like the serious type. I'm guessing with a baby face like his, the women would be all over him. You're exactly right. Thing is, he doesn't even make use of those looks of his. It's such a waste. Hold up, women all over him? You're one to talk! With a face like yours and that sharp black hair, you're playing on easy mode. And on top of all that, your celeb status? I bet gals are falling for you left and right. Well, not really. People didn't notice me much when I'm wearing glasses. I'll have to take even more care just not to stand out when we're in Crossbell. I'm sure the people here don't exactly have the best opinion of me. Eh? Why not? Far as I know, most people here don't really have any hard feelings for the Ashen Chevalier. Really? Yeah, you were a student and you showed up after the annexation, right? Pretty much the only thing you did here was put a stop to Calvert's invasions. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure not everyone's gonna roll out the red carpet for you, but I'd say maybe every 6 out of 10 people here like you. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better, you know? It's already been over a year since all that. I'm sure things have calmed down by now. I'm sure they won't start chucking rocks at you in the streets or anything, so don't worry about that. Well, I wasn't expecting them to do that exactly, but seeing how Yuna's been towards me, I was prepared for a pretty icy reception. Oh, Yuni? Her situation's a little different from the average cross -bellion. I'd appreciate if you could keep an eye on her during the field exercises. I'm sure she's got a lot on her mind. Yeah, of course. Huh? I actually feel a little encouraged now. Might not seem like it sometimes, but I've got three or four years worth of wisdom on ya. Okay, he looks like he's like twice his age. He's, f he's fucking 23. So what do you say? Or no, 24, I guess. Because Rain's 20, I think. Let's get through this and look forward to having some drinks on the last day. You got it. from Darflinger Car 1 for all Branch Campus students. We will arrive at the destination for our field exercises at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. Please don't stay up too late. Make sure you get plenty of rest. Toa's announcements are always so sweet like that. I suppose I ought to head back to my room before it gets too late. Wait. Does this say how old people are? No, it doesn't. 
like, how fucking, how old, how old is Michael? You think he's, like, 25? Same thing with Aurelia. She looks like she'd be in her mid-30s. Aurelia's probably, like, 26. Makes no sense. I've still got a little time left before lights out. I can make my rounds, blah, 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 rest in the room. Michael is 28? No fucking way. Jesus Christ. Ages in our JRPGs make no sense. 32 years old, Aurelia. Ah. It's strange. I kind of drifted into Crossbell three years ago. Raised as a Jaeger, I was always going from place to place. Never thought I'd get all that attached anywhere in particular, but... Randy. It's been over a year for me. I need to prepare myself to come face to face with Crossbell. Don't look up Agate and Tita's age? Jesus. Oh, get a look at that. It sure is a big city. You could fit all of Jirai inside Crossbell City a few times over. Why are you all so loud? Let me sleep a little longer. Wow, that... What's that super tall building? I think it's called Orkis Tower, right, Yuna? Yep, it's 250 Arg tall, the tallest tower in the world. Is Altina 12? I guess she's an ageless robot, but... I'll be okay. I just need to get my head on straight. I mean, the same thing, the same thing fucking happens in anime. Like, every character in One Piece is, like, 20 years old. Or less. And then the dudes who look like they're in their mid-30s, early 40s, are, like, fucking 16. Jeez, took them long enough. I can only wonder how things will play out now that they're here. Maybe I'll go pay them a visit without telling Emma. <clears throat> because we absolutely need to find that woman. <laughs> Even if it means splitting up. Yes. Hmm? That's strange. I thought I saw something over there. Just kidding. <laughs> Looks like all the actors are arriving at their marks. But it's still not enough. I need to make my grand declaration only once everyone has gathered. Oh good, the Joker's here. What the fuck? He burned his clothes? After that, the Durflinger stopped at Crossbell Station for about 10 minutes. Once the supplies were loaded, it departed along the southern line. Now I gotta know how old Agate is. Tita's probably 40. <laughs> 
Did they really just reuse the same fucking assets for every training ground? Okay, Ag- sure. Agate's allowed to be 28. Uh, but I'll tell you what, man. Fucking Randolph looks older than Agate. Wait, does that mean Tita- is Tita 28? These ages are killing me. I'm surprised we were able to set up camp in a spot like this. Oh, is there the Tita and Agate relationship? Is that a no-no? This line connects the medical university to the resort area in the south, right? Correct. The Ursula branch line constructed a year ago. It's already seeing use. This is a reserved line managed by the RMP. A medical university, I wasn't aware there was such a thing here. I've never been to the resort area either. Well, they're both pretty crossbell specific places. I guess both places got way more popular after the railway line was put in. Yes, it's definitely gotten a lot more convenient. Though even before, there were always orbal buses and boats zipping around. By the way, about Class 7 Special Ops missions this time around. They'll be the same procedure as in Sutherland, right? That is correct. You'll be scouting the area and performing requests on behalf of the locals. As before, you will also report to the leader of the local area regarding the start of our field exercises. Oh, right. Forgot about that. But then... The leader of the local area? If we reported to Lord Hiram's when we were in Sutherland... That means... Yes, the Governor General who oversees the provincial of province of Crossbell. Dude, I love Rufus! Let's -a go! Rufus Albarea! So we're going to meet with Governor General Rufus. I've never met him before, but the thought makes me nervous. Yeah, I can understand that. But we're already acquainted, so talking with him shouldn't be too difficult. For real? He's supposed to be really handsome and smart. Sure isn't my type, though. She doesn't like handsome, smart people? Interesting. My impression of him is that he is extremely intelligent. However, I was only used for a short period of time, so I do not know his personality in detail. You were used? Was this outside of your duties at the Intelligence Division? Ellie, are you really okay? Of course, why do you ask? I was only ordered to perform various undercover assignments to arrest Duke Cayenne. Um, should uh, you really be talking about that? Well, it was back during the Civil War. Let's just put that aside for now. Once you're done getting ready, we'll head out. We're supposed to go down Ursula Road, right? Yeah, it's a highway that runs along a lake. Judging from the map, we're not too far from the city. All right, guys, let's get going. All right, lead the way. Is she? From Major Claire. I wanted to thank you for sending me that scrunchie. I've never received such a personal gift from a man before. And luckily you're a man with an impeccable sense of style. How about I wear it next time we hang out? Ooh. Um, I'm probably just going to check out the camp here and then call it a stream, uh, but we'll see. The roles within military finance have become pretty clear lately. I do rather envy the fact that everyone else has their own specialties, though. Yeah, I guess you don't really have your own thing, huh, you say? But that just means you're doing a great job no matter what hat you're wearing. Comms, medical, supply, cooking, you're an active participant in every team at once. Indeed, I suppose you could call me the Jill of all trades. But at this rate, I'll end up affecting the chain of command. I'd prefer to find a niche for myself in these field exercises. Crossbell, the city of trade. I heard it's quite a place. Oh, piques your interest, huh? If you can get permission to leave your post for a bit, I can show you around. Show me around? Really? Sounds fun, but I think I'll pass this time around. You must really love Crossbell, don't you, Yuna? 
While I am a native, born and bred after all, aren't you the same way, Valerie? Well, things are a little more complicated in Northambria, but you're right, I do understand where you're coming from. I see, you get it. I mean, look at how excited I'm getting. It's been like, what, a month since I left? Right. Born and bred, huh? Suppose it's normal to feel pride for your hometown. I'll take a look then. Reen showed Valerie the battle notes. Hmm, this is wonderful. More than 30 cases logged? Here's your reward. Thanks, you've been a great help. You're welcome. I'll be looking forward to your next report. The branch campus enhancement rating rose. So first I need to enter in budget, tap tap. Is she typing without looking? I believe they call it touch typing. I consider myself proficient enough, but it seem she seems to have mastered it. That's a surprise. I thought the girls hadn't learned about orbital computers in class yet. Oh, class seven, hello there. You're in charge of communications and finance, right, T Tatiana? Looks like you're already handy with a computer, though. Oh, um, yes, my father likes to dabble in the latest trends. He received one from a friend in Rower, so we've always had one sitting around in our house. He, he could never figure out how to use it, though, so I took it instead. I see. Wow, you're amazing, Tatiana. When we get back to the branch campus, could you teach me how to use one? It's really not a big deal, but I'd be happy to. I should probably keep the contents of the black records on the DL, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to put it in the database for the sake of completion. I... I'll take a look! You don't have enough documents, actually. I'm sorry, but could you come back when you have a few more? Yeah, fuck you, then. Wow, Crossbell, it's been a while. It's been a while? I thought you were from Remferia. Did you come here on a trip before? Luis was living in Crossbell at one point. Yes, because of my father's work, we stayed for two years. I left around three years ago. It was when I was 13 or 14. I see. Before I entered the police academy, it would have been cool if I had met you back then. So true. If you were there for two years, couldn't your paths have crossed at one point? That's true. It really takes me back. The year I moved here was when... Michelam... Michelam Wonderland finished construction. I came here with my parents soon after. Oh, regarding Mishy, the mascot. Do you know his design was a little different in the beginning? No, I didn't know that. Um, the eyebrows were a little different, right? Mmm, Yuna, you're so knowledgeable. They call that one Retro Mishy now. Mmm, that reminds me, my dad bought me a Mishy strap at the time. I took good care of it, but Mishy, the Mishy part fell off. Sadly, they don't sell the Retro Mishy straps anymore. Hmm? Please don't worry about it. So, that retro Mishy strap was important to Luis. Maybe I'll go look for another for her when I have some time. Man. You don't realize, like, when I was younger, I didn't realize how much stuff in JRPGs was actually really Japanese. Like, they always talk about phone straps and shit. And, like, we in the U.S., that is, like, not a thing. But in Japan, they sell them fucking everywhere for everything. And like the school on Saturdays and stuff, you just don't, you just don't realize. Let's check. Oh God. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Ooh. Seems like you haven't made too much progress since the last time. Will you come back later? Damn, Louise. It's fucked up. I hope we get through our exercise without any issues, at least this time around. That being said, I'll need to prepare for anything. There's only so much you can learn on your own when it comes to studying medicine. I know Instructor Toa is busy, so I wish I had someone else to teach me. Did you need something? Oh, I have 27 reviving bombs now. Come again! So I don't need that. Did you need something? See you again. Did you need something? 
see you again! Oh, Yuna, are you guys heading out? How was breakfast? I was worried because I had to keep the costs low, so... Oh, really? I couldn't tell. It was totally delicious. Keeping costs low, huh? I had no idea your budget was tight. Yes, the nutritional value seemed more than sufficient. Whew, that's good to hear. Um, we'll see about lunch, but I'll try my hardest for dinner, too. Hope you're looking forward to it. You bet. Anyway, let me start the access. Oh, hey there, Class 7. That screen, Tita, is that... Yep, I connected this device to Crossbell City's orbital network wirelessly. They have wireless internet, too? I'm just about to start the connection test. A wireless connection to the orbital network. From what I understand, it's a new technology that's still undergoing tests. Yeah, the orbital network has become more prevalent, but it's always still wired. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? I've heard there's a signal booster powerful enough to let us connect with even Lemon State, albeit at, a limited, albeit at a limited capacity. If this spreads all over the continent, it'd kick off the next generation of innovative infrastructure, so I need to study hard while I'm in Crossbell. Sounds like you're pretty excited. That's great, Tita. What a big homie. It seems we will finally begin our work in this location. Yeah, just like before, I'll be visiting the local officials. Take care while we're gone, Valmar. I only comply with orders from Reen, but I suppose I can make an exception this time. <laughs> Valmar with the sense of humor. What a guy. Wow, yeah, this is literally the exact same map. Uh, slightly different. Field exercises are back, troops. Chances are we're in for more surprises, too. Now I'm getting excited, though I'll pass on anything dangerous like last time. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, new weapons? Oh, God damn it. It makes their movement go down? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So the things I had made it go up. Give them more defense but less movement. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll go upgrade those in a minute too. Crossbell, a land fated to be caught between superpowers since time immemorial. In fact, they're in a tougher position than Jurai was. In any case, maybe this would be a good place to... Oh, hey, Class 7. Hey, Stark, what was it you were saying about Crossbell? Oh, that. I'm just fascinated by, fascinated by it as a financial hub, being the son of a merchant and all. I'm thinking about getting permission to go and check the town later today. Oh, is that so? Well, if our schedules happen to match up, maybe I could show you around a bit. Don't worry about me. If I get lost, I'll just ask the townsfolk. There are plenty of people in Crossbell. You should be able to get by on your own. Well, if you do end up going out there, just be careful. Yes, sir. Just tell me what you need. Come again. Everyone's efficiency is improved in comparison to the first set of field exercises. It's still nothing compared to the Imperial Army, but I expect good results from everyone here nonetheless. I'm sure everyone will move at the pace that suits them. Hmm, our class can't be lagging behind. Yes, at the very least, we need to learn from our previous mistakes. By the way, Instructor Michael, is Instructor Claire coming to Crossbell this time around? Major Rivelt? Hmm, let's see. She will be here, but for business, so she won't have free time. You'll have to give up on seeing her this time. I see.
Thanks. Okay, we are kitted out. Majafaka. Here I go. Let's go. I shall go. Let's go. Um, okay. So that's you know, before we get into all the crossbell stuff, uh I will call it there. Um, today's stream wasn't very exciting. I guess not a lot happened other than the Cedric the Entertainer stuff, but I'm sure that Crossbell will get very exciting, but... Excuse me for yawning. Uh, probably not for a couple hours at least, because usually you gotta, like, do a bunch of dumbass errands and shit, so... It'll probably take a bit. I mean, Ruf seeing Rufus will be cool. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with more... Uh, more cold steel. I might try to stream a little bit earlier. Might go to bed a little earlier tonight so that I can wake up earlier tomorrow. Um, but I don't know. So... Yeah, that's it for today. I will catch you guys tomorrow with more Cold Steel 3.